Yo, this is Coast Lucky number two with the sideboard of the Bug Aggro deck. So, let's get started. Not the sideboard, the main, the main deck. deck. Yeah, the main deck. Main I lied to you guys. I do not apologize for anything. We got one mana confluence. Wow, what is this for the video? There we go. One mana confluence. It's just one because, as you saw in the video, there's a lot of life paid in this deck with all these shock lands and like thought seizes and dusk mouth seers. So. It can kill you if you're not careful. So I just like to play just one because it is good mana, but it's not worth dying. So we get two swamp, two forest, two island. I just like to play basics, just because like untapped lands that don't hurt you are a big deal in a lot of matchups. Not so much anymore, but I do like to play basics because they are really good. Also, they're really pimp. So we got one temple of deceit and four watery grave. One, two temple of mystery, four breeding pool, one temple of milady. My lady. My lady. And then four over to him. Now, two Temple Mysteries, because green and blue is really the splash. It's the core of the deck is black, and then, like, green and splashing blue. But, like, four Shogs Mentor, and then, like, two Temple Mysteries, like, the other, the real splash color is blue. And then, like, black is the main color, and then, like, so, you know, so just two Temple Mysteries seem best, like, because, like, there's, for some reason, I draw a bunch of green-black duels. So, like, Temple of Mystery seems fine, you know? This is weird. So we got three Thoughtseize. You know, just strip out those uh, Supreme Verdicts, Counter Spells, Removal. Or they just draw it like Coast Laggy like, number one, even though it's not your name. Like, just anger the gods off the top, always. Just like all within the. But it's really good if they have it. You can strip Counter Spells before you play like a Dusk Mantis here or Biden of Thassa, which are really good against Control Decks too. Or just against like Gen Monsters or other Ghost Protect, you just take their stuff and you just start bashing them in the face. We got four Torment Hero. So one drop, two one. Not really much to say. It's very aggressive. Triggers the evolve on experiment one. That's a really good card. Experiment one, really good. Survives a bunch of removal. Gets really big unless they're the, like the Grixis deck that plays like all removal all the time. It's really bad. But it's, the experiment one's really good. Survives a lot of stuff. Then we got three abrupt decay because uh, detention sphere and banishing light are a thing. And then like against aggressive decks. It was really good, and then it really is really good against no, so Corsair. Yeah, cool. yeah, Corsair Crucifix is a big deal. Red. Not so much important. It's more mostly Corsair Crucifix that I'm concerned about because John Monsters mostly just plays that, and that's what stops me. That character is good too, but Brubaker is really good. Gugar Charm is a sort of similar to a fourth copy of a Brubaker to destroy enchantments. Mostly, it's also good against White Weenie decks. Mostly, it's the uh, regenerate each creature you control. That's really good. In combat against control decks, what are you doing? Nothing. Okay. Then we got four brain maggot. It's like the thought sees except it's a creature, so it can get uh, it can do an attack with it, and it's just really good. It's similar, just like more thought sees is really good. So, like it's a shame that it doesn't just stay away, but then it'd be uh, like a mythic for two mana. You get a dude, you get a strip a card forever, and you don't lose in a life. Really good. Yeah. Two lotless troll is really good with scavenging ooze or volarls. Or Drag Mangler. It's just really good. Hard to kill against a lot of decks. And then it lets you power through Jun Monster decks just by just discarding creatures that are bad against them. So. And you get two Scavenging News, which is, again, against, like, control decks or Jun Monsters or whatever. Creatures will die. Pretty much every matchup ever. So it's just good because it just eats them and gets big. And then you can just start bashing them in the face. And it gains you life that is very precious in this deck because you just lose a lot. As you saw earlier. Then we got four Drag Mangler. Because it's a 3 3 haste, triggers evolve, has scavenge. It's just pretty good in aggressive decks. Not many people play it anymore. It's a shame. It was a really good rat last time it was a deck. But uh it's just a really good creature. Hasty cards are good. Scavenge is good. Things like that. So then we go two Varls. He's really good. He can he, a lot of, as you've seen, a lot of these things can regenerate or do stuff when they die, which is a really good thing. That's why the bug aggro deck I played last time was really good. It they just the creatures did stuff when they died or were resilient. Or interacted with other things. Like Varls, once all your stuff dies, some of the scavenging is he just makes your guys huge. Which is really good. So and he also he's hard to kill himself. So they got two heroes downfall and one poochify as a three drop removal. Downfall again for troublesome planeswalkers like Jace or Elspeth. Or the other ones like uh, Xanagos, which is not more of a... Mostly is Elspeth that I'm worried about. Or John Monsters, all their big guys. And then Putrefy can destroy uh, 
weapons, like god weapons like Biden and Thassa or anything else, or just any other random artifacts like uh, Rakdos King Rune. So it's just really good. And the creature can't be generated. Every now and then it's relevant, like a uh, Lotless Troll, Barrels, Experiment 1. Not many other creatures, but Golgari Charm can get past that, which is a big mm -hmm. deal against John Monsters, because they're starting to main deck those two. Or Green Black Devotion. We've got two Biden of Thassa and three Dust Mouse here. Now, Biden of Thassa obviously is good. I like Coastal Piracy. I would play it even if it didn't have the extra ability, which is almost never relevant. You just get a... You play a bunch of guys and you have no hand, you just get to hit them and then draw more cards and you have a hand again. Which is really good. Not much explanation needed. And then three Dusk Mouse here. Which, as I said earlier, I don't know if, you've, if you watch this first, that's fine. It's uh, Vampire Wizard Flying 4-4. At the beginning of your upkeep, each player flips the top card of their deck, or reveals the top card of their deck, and loses life equal to that card from their mana cost and puts it in their hand. So it's Dark Confidant for each player, your upkeep. It's really good. Good against control decks, it's a 4-4 four, four flyer, gets aggressive, and, and their own cards kill them, because they play a fair amount of 3 and up, usually 4 and up, and it'll just, like, if they flip Elspeth, they're probably just going to die really quick to this thing. It means they have the answer to it, but now they just took 6, and you're probably getting in for 4, so that's 10, just for 4 mana. Pretty good. So that's the bug aggro deck, somewhat mid-range. Mostly trying to get aggressive when you can. So, uh... Hope you enjoyed. I'll be back in a second with the cyborg, the actual cyborg, not the main deck. Okay, now we're back for another episode of the cy with the cyborg of Bug Aggro. It's well, not another episode. episode. Well, you know what? Silly it is to me. It is to me, you silly rabbit. That's how you say it. You got one far and away. It's either two mana unsummon or three mana edict. It's good against like John monsters because like it kills carry tids, which is hard to do for this deck. And then, like, on, like, if you get to 5 mana, like, there's a chance you can just get to a mid-range game with other decks, with all your cards that you get to bring in and such. And it's just really good against just creature decks. There's only one, though, because there is other removal you bring in, and it is only 3 mana to Edict, but you might do both halves, so you don't want all of it. And also, if you flip that with Dusk Mana Seer, you take 5, because it's 2 cards. It's 1 card with total combat mana cost of 5 with 2 halves, so it's really bad. Got one plasma capture for those uh, like Jun monsters or mid range matchups or even control decks that that you can just go late game with because you just play things. But like it's just good because you get that mana, you can use it on your turn. It's really good. I like it. I like it a lot. I played it before, not much anymore, but I think it's good. Got one domestication for like a uh, aggro matchups or mid range matchups that aren't Jun monsters. They don't just have huge guys, so good like even and you can just like four mana take away their blocker if you want but it's just really good it also answers uh courser crucifix which is a really big deal you can take the courser and use it so it's a good thing mono blue played it for a reason it's good in their deck good in my deck I like a lot two reap intellect which is a uh, very not often seen is not very good the later the game like it's good late game but only if you get a resolve it which means, like, if you get a resolve it and it works right, you will probably win that game, or they will never be able to stop you after that. Which means eventually you will win the game. Like, I haven't got a resolve one yet that's really good. I had it, and I just killed them anyways that one game, as you saw in the video, so. Eh. Okay, but I'm waiting for that one time you just get to take, like, Sphinx's Revelation, Supreme Verdict, and maybe Elixir of Immortality from a blue white control deck. For that one time at FNM, when that guy gets yeah. to now go home and tell that story. Yeah, for that one time it works out, yeah. It's going to be worth it. And then 200 plate mail. As I explained in the video, it's just a 4 mana artifact equipment. Quick creature is plus 4 plus 4. Tap 0. Becomes a 4-4 four, four spirit that does not fly. If Only activate this if you have no other creatures. I like it because against control decks, when they kill all your stuff, now you have a 4-4. Four, four. And even if they don't, you just equip your one guy. Like, a brain maggot's now a 5-5. Five, five. They have to answer your guy. Also lets you uh, trade up with the John Monsters deck. You just make your guys big like theirs. And now your creatures are on par with theirs. This is like a storm with dragon, but like it's just really good. Four fours or make make creatures huge. If it's equipping a dusk mouse here, you just probably win that game. So. Two honor world connections again for the control matchup and like John monsters. John monsters are very much attrition y deck against aggro decks. Like drawing cards to replace the cards you lose, or just get ahead in cards against control decks or mid range decks. It's just really good. Really good card. Then we got one bow of Nylion. Like, it's also for Jun monsters. Tag creatures you control have Death Touch, which is a big deal against Jun monsters whose guys are huge and just kill yours in combat all the time. And then, 
uh, excuse me, against aggressive decks, you can just start gaining life or start making your guys big with its ability. Also, the same thing for Dumb Monsters, you can make your guys big. Now, every now and then, against a mill deck, which doesn't happen often, you don't really care, because of all, like, Varls, Dreg Manglers, and Scavenging News. But, like, just so you don't die, you just put four cards from your river back onto your robber, and you just never die to a mill deck, so. I got one ultimate prize, again, for Jun Monsters, not really aggro decks. Jun Monsters has a lot of monocolored creatures, of course, your Crufix, Pelucranos, Stormbreath Dragons, things like that you want to kill, so that's good. And then, same reason for Doomblade. Kills a lot of their good creatures. This also comes in against Mono Black or Green Black Devotion, whatever it is now, whatever one someone wants to play. It's really good against them. You got one Scavenging Ooze, another, just another way to gain life and beat the Jun Monsters and Aggro decks and just make it big. You don't really bring it in against Control decks much, but it's really good. It's a really good card. One Miscutter Hydra, uh, just specifically for like Mono Blue is starting to come back a little bit because a lot of white decks are dropping out, so Deicide's not a problem. And then, like, the blue-white or Esper control variants. They just, uncounterable big guy, just start bashing them in the face so they can't really answer it without a removal. Sp like, a Esper can with Downfall, or maybe out of the board, Doomblade, which they probably don't bring in against the mostly black creature deck. And then, like, blue-white cannot answer it without Verdict. They, or Banishing Light, I guess, now. But it's just two cards. They normally play two Banishing Light, four Detention Sphere. So it's really hard to kill for those decks. And you start getting hit them in the face and have a threat. And yeah, they have haste. to answer. Yeah, has haste. Yeah, has haste. Yeah, has And then one mutabolt for the control matchups. Because a lot of the control matchups, you bring in more of these heavy costing cards. So, like, you want to land. And then it just animates, which is really good. Works well with Haunted Plate Mail. You can animate Plate Mail and then make this a 2 2. And just start bashing in face. So, it's really good against control decks. So, that's the sideboard for Bug Aggro. Hope you enjoy it. Keep watching. Send all the hate mail to at Pierce the blog on Twitter. I don't know if you have an email yet. You need to make one. Pierceblog at yahoo.com. As I've said every video we've ever made. Okay, Pierceblog at yahoo.com. A lot of them. Yeah. And if you just want to talk to someone cool, probably not us. Most certainly not at Pierce all the blog. Nope. So. Don't talk to me out there. If you want to talk to cool people, I'm not the guy. Yeah. Enjoy it, like large. it, subscribe it. Talk to Robot Large. And talk to Robot Large, Heavy Meta, A Team. Continue watching, liking, subscribing, make us popular so we can get money from YouTube. I don't think that's going to happen. I uh, probably not. But I, I, one can dream. One can dream. Uh, enjoy. Bye.